Oh, hello. I've been asked to read you a story. It's not this story. It's actually a story that you know really well. It's the story of Hetty the Glowworm. That is Keela. She's not in the story, but maybe she'll stay and listen. Now, Hetty wanted one thing more than anything else, to be a glowworm. And she wanted to be a glowworm for three reasons. One, she wanted to be able to find her way through the forest late at night. Two, she wanted to be able to find things she'd lost in dark, murky corners. And three, best of all, she wanted to be able to read her book under the covers late at night. So she went to her dad and she said, Dad, I want to be a glowworm. And uh, her dad laughed. <laughs> you can't be a glowworm. Glowworms are special. So, undaunted, she went to her mum. Mum, I want to be a glowworm. Well, her mum sat her down on the sofa and explained very gently that she could not be a glowworm. So, Hetty went and sat in the garden and had a think until inspiration struck. I know, I will go and see the Queen. So off she went. She marched and marched and marched until at last she came upon the Queen's palace. She went past the guards, up the steps, down the corridor, until at last she found the Queen in her counting room. The Queen was counting her money, but listened very carefully to Hetty. And then she answered, Hetty, I'd like to be able to help you, but I have money, I have power, but I don't have magic. If you want to be a glowworm, go and see the wizard. And so she did. And she marched and marched and marched until at last she came before the wizard's castle. She banged on the huge oak doors, which then opened before her. And then she made her way up the stone staircase until at last she came upon the wizard. She explained and the wizard listened and stroked his chin and said, Hmm, I think I might be able to help you. Hold my magic wand while I go and get my book of magic spells. And so he did. And he was gone quite a while. In fact, he was gone for hours. And Hetty grew hungry. And she looked at the wand in front of her and she thought, Do you know what? That looks just like shortbread. And then she smelt it. <laughs> oh, and it smells just like shortbread. And before you knew it, she'd bitten off a corner, put it in her mouth and eaten it. Mm, it tastes just like gingerbread. And then within seconds, the wand was gone because she'd eaten it. And then, of course, she heard the footsteps of the wizard returning. Now, Hetty could be silly, but she wasn't stupid. She knows that if you eat something you shouldn't, you need to tell someone. And so, difficult as it was, she told the wizard. And the wizard was fine. He said, oh, don't worry. We bake our magic stars on a Tuesday and on a Thursday, so there's no problems. Phew, Hetty was relieved. Oh, he added, but there are some side effects. Side effects, said Hetty, now slightly alarmed. What do you mean, side effects? Oh, well, you, you might glow a little. Glow a little? Well, of course, Hetty was delighted. Her dream had come true. Now she was able to walk through the forest at night. She could find things she'd lost in dark, murky corners. And best of all, 
she could read her book under her covers late at night. And so you see, Hetty's dream came true. I hope you enjoyed that and perhaps I'll read another story next week. Bye.